Okay, so we're going to find the series representation for the function and find the interval of convergence. So we're going to start with ln of 1 minus x. And the trick is to make that match our series exactly. So it's ln of 1 plus negative x. So wherever you see an x in our series for ln of 1 plus x, we're just going to replace that with a negative x. And then we simplify it to find a pattern. So then r equals negative x. So then you set that equal less than 1. So you get the interval negative 1 to 1. Then I'm going to write out my series. And you basically just write the same series for ln, except now instead of having just x to the n over n, it's now negative 1 because we need the negative. And also notice that it the series starts at n equals 1. The second function we're going to work with is tangent inverse of x squared. So the first thing I want to do is write out the series for tangent inverse, but instead of using x, I'm going to use x squared. Same thing, I'm going to let the square root of x squared be less than 1. And so I simplify that, and which means it's got to be between 0 and 1 because it has to be positive. You can't get a negative if you're going to square it. Then now you write out your summation, and instead of writing x, you're just going to write x squared and simplify it out. Then what I do is I raise the power, so I write the sigma, but I raise it, I distribute in that 2. So it becomes 4n plus 2, all divided by 2n plus 1. The next problem we're going to work on is 7x times e to the x. So where this is tricky is you have to just start with e to the x. So you start with the series representation for e to the x. And because 7x is a polynomial, we can just multiply that through. So we write the sigma form which is going to be x divided by n factorial. In the sigma, it should be x to the n. So then I multiply everything through by 7x. And I get sigma from n equals 0 to infinity, 7x to the n plus 1 over n factorial. Because like I said before, it should be x to the n. And the interval of convergence is all real numbers because that's the interval of convergence for e to the x. The next function we're going to look at is x squared cosine of x. So the first thing we do is we find the fun function representative for cosine of x. Write that down. And then what I'm going to do is also write out the sigma representation for cosine of x. Then I multiply everything through by x squared in order to get the x squared into my function. So I get x squared cosine of x equals, you distribute the x squared everywhere in there. Notice that it's going to affect the x term and it becomes 2n plus 2 because you're multiplying by x squared. So then x squared cosine of x is equal to negative 1 to the n, x to the power of 2n plus 2, divided by 2n factorial. And the interval of convergence for a trig function is all real x's.